Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. Welcome, everybody, to Unity with Pam TV show. Sorry we're starting a little bit late, but I can't do anything until my men tell me that they are ready to go so that all of you wonderful, beautiful faces that are on this program will be seen throughout the community. And it's such a pleasure to have such the great support for health care. So give you all a round of applause. Now we will go ahead and call for invocation by Chaplain LaShawn Scott of Columbus Hospice. Good morning. Well, let us go to God in prayer. Dear God, we come before your loving presence. Just thanking you for this day and thanking you for just being God of for everybody and just taking care of us all. We thank you, God, for the Pam Hovey Show. We thank you for making provision, oh God, to meet every need. We thank you for our community and the people who provide services um, to the community. We pray you continue to bless and provide for them. And let us remember that all of our help comes from you, God. And you empower us. You help us and fill us with knowledge, wisdom, and compassion for people that we may help people and let them know that there is help for them and we work together as a community. So we thank you for the Pam Hovey Show, the networking opportunities and the connections that we can provide to be together and to make our community stronger and make people stronger and healthier. We thank you for the Tree of Life um, Healthcare Center, the vision, the visionary, and all the people you will bring um, to work in this capacity. We give you thanks for all things. And to you, oh God, we just love you and we praise you. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now we will hear from Pastor Lowell Clyatt, who is the visionary and the overseer of Tree of Life Healthcare. Thank you. First of all, I want to thank uh, Pam for um, bringing our show here on site and uh, letting us be a host today and thank you for coming out to be a part of this we really appreciate your being here and looking forward to working with all of you there is a tremendous need in our community for affordable free health care even with the affordable care act there will still be a need for people in our community it is not just about the homeless any longer it is about your neighbor it is about your family member it's about the person that was making six figures last year and the cobras ran out and insurance is gone it's about your pastors in the pulpit there are pastors that uh, don't have health insurance, uh, and I have uh, ministered to plenty of those uh, uh, across the years uh, in another endeavor that I was a part of. But thank you again for coming out to be a part of Unity with Pam uh, here at Trio Life, and I look forward to visit with you uh, after the show. God bless you. Now we will be hearing about the women's VA clinic because some people told me they didn't even realize that we have a women's VA clinic. And the lady that is in charge of that is Dr. Deborah Daniels. Good morning. I'm Dr. Deborah Daniels. I'm with the VA clinic in Columbus, Georgia, affiliated with CAVIS. And you know what CAVIS is? They're Central Alabama VA Healthcare, even though we're in Georgia. We're part of the Central Alabama VA Healthcare System, and that is Tuskegee, Montgomery, Birmingham, Fort Rucker, and Dothan, Alabama, and now Monroeville, Georgia. I'm not sure where that is. Uh, that's all part of the Central Alabama VA. Uh, the reason why I'm here is uh, just to make you aware that women only make up about 6%, 6% of all the veterans that come to the VA, although our active duty women are now about 15% of the active duty military, but we don't see them coming to the VA. Uh, So one thing I want to do is just make you aware that we are there. There's a specific women's health program at Columbus, Tuskegee, Montgomery, and at Fort Rucker. The second thing I want people to know about is that there's specific maternity VA benefits for pregnant veterans, because you don't think pregnancy in the VA usually (laughs) in the same breath, but we do have maternity care VA benefits for women. And thirdly, I want you to know about military sexual trauma. Just like you can have Agent Orange as a designation or Desert Storm or Iraqi or Afghanistan veteran as a designation, there's also a designation for military sexual trauma. Unfortunately, most of those are women, but not all. About 10 to 15 percent of our military sexual trauma patients are men. So there is a, a benefit for that specifically. 
So my role is to just to make you aware of that. And going back to the maternity uh, VA benefits, about 42% of our new uh, veterans, women veterans, are childbearing age. And so every year in October, we have something called Operation Baby Shower uh, So uh, in, uh, at the VA clinic. So thank you. How can they contact you? Oh, you can comment. Well, that's a good question at the VA. <laughs> you can call the uh, Central Alabama VA Healthcare System. Uh, the number for the local Columbus is 706-257-7205. Now we will hear from Ms. Denise Blanton, West Georgia Health. Thank you, Pam. Um, thank you all for allowing me to be here. I'd like to um, give you an idea about weight loss surgery and the benefits of weight loss surgery. Um, I'm a registered dietitian, and I've been uh, working at West Georgia Health now for the last four years in their um, weight loss surgery program. And many people aren't aware of the uh, benefits and uh, the different procedures that we offer. The, um, there are three that you'll see that are offered more commonly. The first one here is the adjustable gastric banding procedure. And that is where they'll put a band around the stomach that will restrict the amount of food intake. And for most patients, they see a 40 to 50 percent um, loss of excess body weight with that procedure. The um, second one we offer is called the sleeve gastrectomy. And this is where they actually remove 70 to 80 percent of the stomach, leaving the stomach about the size of a sleeve, which is three or four ounces is what it would hold. This is restrictive just like the band. However, it also offers the benefit of removing a lot of the uh, um, tissue that produces the appetite hormone ghrelin. So it does have an added benefit. So most patients would um, see a 70 to 80% excess weight loss or loss of excess weight. The third procedure that we do is the uh, RUNY, also known as the gastric bypass. This one is restrictive in that the stomach is made about the size of an egg, so it doesn't hold very much, but it also has the added benefit of bypassing the small intestines, which means that part of the nutrients that you take in you will malabsorb. So three different procedures, all with um, you know three different functions. However, they all result in um, good weight loss. The um, bypass is, has been known for a long time as the gold standard because it's been around the longest, but the sleeve is definitely gaining popularity, so we're seeing more and more sleeves. Um, why have gastric surgery? For most people, if you have a body mass index of 35 and greater with a comorbidity like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, different um, health care problems, what you'll see, you can uh, Google this chart at uh, Cleveland Clinic, and you can see um, the results of their surveys. There's a reduction for um, high blood cholesterol for about 63% of patients, a reduction in um, type 2 diabetes in 83% of patients. Um, and there are other things like hypertension decreased 52 to 92%. So lots of benefits. And if you're interested in the weight loss surgery, just contact us at westgeorgiahealth.org, and we'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. All right, thank you. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoke fresh on our grill daily, or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites, and don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Is it possible to have a love-love relationship with your cable company? What if they were a different kind of cable company, starting with not asking you to sign a contract? What if they actually listened to what you need, instead of trying to sell you something you don't? And let's say they backed up their service with a money-back guarantee. Just to be crazy, let's say this cable company was made up of happy people who treated you like an actual human being. We're WOW, and we'd like to change the way you feel about cable companies. Now we'll be hearing from Risk Care, Ms. LaShonda Smith. 
Hello, everybody. My name is LaShonda Smith, and I'm with the Risk Care Home Care, which is an agency that will come out to the homes to take care of the elderly and the disabled of all ages. Many people get that confused. When they hear home care, two things happen. First, they confuse it with home health, which they're two different things. Home health is more of a skill when you're sick and you need that extra help, like with, with uh, wounds or antibiotics or... Um, just anything that would require a nurse to come out to take care of the patient. But what we do at Risk Care is we come out to the home and we take care of the patients. We help them with their baths. We go with them to the doctor. We do, if they have family, I'm sure a lot of you have this uh, same scenario. You have a mother or father that needs that extra care and you're at home and you have your family and you need help. And that's what we do. We relieve the family and it's called respite, respite care. We do that as well. There are other agencies here in town that do the exact same thing. I always say that there's no competition because it's a lot of people out there that needs the care. And we do work together as a group to make sure that the patients get what they need because each home care has something different to offer other than the regular program that we have. Um, some of the agencies do not take VA patients. We take VA patients. Um, some people... Um, they only take private pay, which is where you pay, pay out of the pocket. And we refer to each other. We're not enemies that we just don't um, help the patient. The patient always comes first. Um, we also take care of uh, the military, like my agency, we take care of the military children with disabilities. You'll be amazed at how many kids are out there, how many families that are military that have kids with disabilities, that the father's gone or the mother's gone. And uh, some of the, amazingly, there are some families that have one or two children that needs that type of service. Um, so if you all will just keep in mind that risk care is out there, um, just call us at 706-324-4502 or look us up on the Internet. Um, we are, we are, we are a decent company. We've been here since the 70s. We were known as Elder Care, um, if any of you have ever heard of Elder Care. Um, but that's us in a nutshell. Keep us in mind if you have any family, friends, church members that may need these services, okay? All right, thank you. And you're always hiring, too. Uh, we're always hiring. We, hire, try to, <laughs> we try to hire every two weeks. Um, if you know of anybody that are CNAs, or we call them PCAs, and they have to have experience, and then they have to take a 100-question test that is, that is uh, derived from the state. The state gives us this test to administer, and they have to pass the test with an 80 at least, okay? So keep that in mind. If you know anybody that needs a job, let us know. Okay. Now we'll be hearing from Five Star Healthcare, Beverly Robinson. Good morning. I'm Beverly Robinson, and I'm the manager for Five Star Healthcare. And one of the things I wanted to ask, how many of you all believe in your steps being ordered by God? Ordered my steps. A couple of years ago, 2008, I was thinking at first that was one of my worst years, but now that I think of it, it was one of my best. February 2008, I lost my mother. And then two months later, February the 4th, I lost my job of 14 years. I was a manager at a staffing agency. And I just thought my world had ended. I was blessed. I got a job at the housing authority. And I started working with a lot of the, I saw, I see a couple of residents here from the housing authority that I was working with. I was a coordinator for the elderly and disabled. And when I would call some of the residents to let them know about a program that we were having or maybe a trip that we were going on, some of them were having a bad day. Their aid didn't come. Or my aide told me that if I would let her have the day off, she would make up that time and she's not here. A lot of different issues. So I became a little bit involved with helping them. Lo and behold, through networking, Dr. Joshua Bello, who was the owner and director of Five Star Healthcare in Atlanta, decided that he wanted to branch off and open an office here. And by the grace of God, I was chosen to be the manager of that company, and we have done successfully, we've done real well since then. We work with people who are on Medicaid, Medicaid um, and SSI. So if you know of anyone who may have diabetes, um, high blood pressure, they're needing help, please give us a call. We have information in the back. 
I want to introduce you to my two staff members, Whitney Butler and stand up for me, Whitney and Allie Stanfield. They're my administrative assistants in my office. If you all need any help, please give us a call. Thank you. Minister McBride from a and &A Catering. Good morning. Uh, like she said, I'm from a and &A Catering. We're at 6381 Mills and Road, Suite 5. And no catering is too large or too small. So this morning, we were just going to do a little macaroni and cheese for you. Show you how to just prepare that real quick, real easy. And we'll prepare it for you and uh, make it real simple for you. This is my beautiful wife. She is actually the cook. You know, she, she runs the restaurant. She just lets me hang out every now and then. <laughs> so what we have, did you have the thing, baby? That's all right. I'm That's sorry. My wife. That's my wire. I got to wait on it. That's right. That's my better half. So, but like I say, if you need any catering needs, uh, from light hors d'oeuvre to eight course meals, whatever you need, we're prepared to do that for you. And uh, we're open Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 3. We're only doing lunch now and on Sundays from 12 to 4. So after church on Sunday, if you want to come get a good meal, just stop by and visit us. We're in a little shopping center right next to Papa John's in there. So here's our, it's real simple. What we do, we, you ball, we use the elbow macaroni for hours. So 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. You'd use eight cups of water. You boil them for 13 minutes. Bring to a ball. Put one teaspoon of oil in there to keep it from sticking together. And you boil them for 13 minutes. Drain them and rinse. Then you pour them in a, in a pan. So in a pan by itself, you add one cup of milk and three eggs and beat it together. Then you add a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then you add in one and a half cup of sharp cheese. You bring that to a bar. Then in another pan, you melt a stick of margarine and two cups of milk. You bring that to a bar. Then you add in 16 ounces of Velveeta cheese, stir until melt. Then you put it all, pour it all in the pan, mix it together, together, cook it for 30 minutes. Then after the 30 minutes, you top it off with a half cup of sharp cheddar cheese and return for 10 minutes in the oven, and that's what you got. Amen? So we'll have it in the back. So after the show, anybody want a taste test? I do. You come in. <laughs> You come and do your taste test. And then once you do that taste test, we know we'll be looking for your a and Cafe and Catering. Thank you. Now we'll be hearing from Eric Fowler with Millermont Technical College. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Eric Fowler with Millermont Technical College. We are the premier institution here in Columbus, Georgia, servicing all allied health programs, primarily medical billing coding, electronic health records, medical assisting, medical lab technician. We also have a Serenity Day Spa. I don't know if you all have any stress on your jobs or anything like that. But a shameless plug, Serenity, I see some hands being raised back there. We do have some discounts for you. Please come back and check us out. We have some massage therapy discounts that we'd like you to take advantage of while you're here. I'm the Career Services Director, and we're just happy to be a part of this occasion. Thank you, Pam, and Tree of Life. Thank you. Uh, do we have a representative here from Tears? Sorry, I um, kind of got off focus with the fried chicken and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but um, I'm the marketing director for TEARS. TEARS stands for Teens Empowerment Awareness with Resolution. That's a whole lot of words. Um, but basically, the T stands for teens. The E stands for empowerment. What we try to do is give the kids the courage and the confidence to do what they need to do, which is right. A, awareness, we get in the knowledge. Everybody know ours, resolution, basically from the Bible, resolution, the answer. So after we get them the strength, get them the knowledge, on top of the answer, it's up to them to make the right decision. And today what we wanted to talk about was a wonderful program we started called TAP. It's the Teens um, Absence, Tears Absence Program. And one thing we learned about working with the youth in absence and them out going out having sex and different things like that, a lot of times they bored. 
and they don't have anything else to do. And we know out of mind is the devil workshop. So what we try to do is we, we tap into the community. We believe as much is given and much is required. So we doing some things of cleaning up. Uh, after the kids basically go out and clean up the community, we're going to get them to clean up their self and take them somewhere nice as well. Also, we have tap into teens. A lot of teens talk to their peers and don't really have any other guidance. And you think about when you was younger, 14, 12 years old, you got an issue, and you all come up with the answer on your own. Most of the time, it's not going to be the correct answer. So what we're doing is we have a mentoring program where an adult will leave a group setting, and within that group setting, we let the kids come up with their own answer with our guidance. You can reach us at two, area code 334-291-6363. Is your weight preventing you from leading a happy, healthy life? West Georgia Health in LaGrange is the only accredited center for weight loss surgery in the region to offer all three surgical options. And your procedure may be covered by insurance. To learn more about your weight loss surgery options, visit WGHealth.org. So West Georgia Health, so healthy together. For more than 60 years, the Dairy Queen recipe for success has been simple. It's been a combination of hardworking people, great tasting food, and tempting treats served in our establishments every day. Although a lot has changed in 60 years, some things remain the same. The smiles on children's faces, a treat for a good report card, close friends enjoying a great meal, and families spending quality time together. Here at DQ, we are always committed to treat you right. From you to be a part of our ministry. This is not a put on, but this is a come on. And we come to share in our different ministries with our dance team, with our choir, and our TV ministry. And we're looking for great things to happen. Great miracles to happen within this great thing to happen. Great miracles to happen within this place. Come and be a part of the blessing plan. I'm going to go ahead and call Miss Angie Hollis of Home Care Services, and after that, we'll be hearing from Miss Tarsavina. Thanks, Pam. Uh, I'm so blessed to be here today. And Pam, I just appreciate you. Um, we want to be a part of, of unity with Pam just because we believe in what she's doing. We feel like, you know, the Word of God tells us that people perish for lack of knowledge. And that's what this is about, is to give us the knowledge in our community that we need to do better, to help others, and uh, to live better lives, right? Um, we are a, a home care agency. Um, LaShonda, I appreciate your intro into what a home care agency is and what we do. Um, LaShonda is a friendly competitor of ours. We're, in fact, we're not very far from one another. Our offices are, are pretty closely related um, in, in proximity. But um, we take care of senior adults in this community and help them with the, the bathing, grooming, uh, meals, uh, transportation, things like that, medication reminders. Uh, we were called to do this, my husband and I about nine years ago the Lord clearly gave us the call to do this and so first and foremost uh, this is our ministry um, God is the owner of home care services of Columbus and we simply are the managers and so we always uh, have kept that in proper perspective and um, God has so richly blessed what we do there's a great need like LaShonda said there is such a need in our community um, for competent compassionate people to care for our senior adults um, so we are never, um, there's never a, a lack um, in business, unfortunately, in what we do. Um, so if you know of anybody that needs some services, please, you know, tell them about us. Tell them about Rest Care. There's some others out there that are doing a great job, too. Um, but we just really identify with Pastor Lowell and what he's doing here at Tree of Life and um, just really hope that, that people here will support this with your time, your talents, and your treasures because what he's doing has kingdom value. That's what we want to be about is doing the Lord's work, right? So um, appreciate you all coming out. Pam, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Now we will have a musical selection from Tarsavina Peterson. This lady's uh, CD, her music, 
it had me in tears. I mean, it, it just really ministered to me. And she came over two and a half hours, so I thank her for doing Big Girl's show. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Good afternoon. Well, good morning. Um, my CD came from just desperation that I went through in my life with marriage. Men and women, you don't understand how when you come connected with someone, when you're separated from that person, how it physically and mentally hurts you. But the person that you have to stick close to at all times through all things is God. And being a minister's daughter, I always heard that, but I didn't listen. So when this happened, God said, you know what? This is my chance to make you get close to me. So I'm calling on your name. Is the song that I'm going to do. I'm broken and battered, so confused and tattered. No one to help me. I can't see my way through. Don't know who I should be. Oh Lord, what should? Thank you for watching Unity with Pam. If you would like to be a sponsor, please contact us or visit unitywithpam.org.